Welcome to my video and Merry Christmas. So if you're watching this video, it's probably Christmas Eve, I would guess, maybe Christmas Day, but I'm shooting for Christmas Eve as far as this one goes. And yeah, this will be pretty short. It's a game between like two, four hundreds. So really just trying to like expand the rating range and it went, it lasted pretty short. So just uh, if you want to see a pretty chaotic game at that level, just uh, I'll see you there. All right, let's take a look at this game. So, player who submitted this was Yasura Biddy or something like that. If I'm mispronouncing it, I do apologize. I think he said he's from Morocco, so shout out to the country of Morocco. So, White played the move E3. E5 is a good move to control the center and also prepare for the development of your pieces. And here, F4 was played. And F4 is not really a move you want to play because... Uh, anytime you move the F-pawn, you weaken your king. Even if you castle, you potentially weaken it from this side. So F4, not really a move you want to play in the opening, unless you know that, like, the possible checks and stuff, like, aren't all that harmful. And white, sorry, black played the move queen h4 check, which is actually not all that harmful, and it's not the best move. What black really should do is just take, and then go, like, bishop c5 or something. So... You prevent them from castling. I guess there's d4, but you move the bishop. It may not even be that. Just go with something like knight f6. And like, long term, this f-pawn could provide some weaknesses as it can no longer defend these two squares. So, a queen h4 check was played. And if white just plays g3 to block the queen, that's actually very solid. But what happened is after queen h4, king e2 was played. And that's a mistake. Because quite simply, you move your king when you just don't have to. And so, let's see how black continued this attack. The pawn was taken. Queen takes f4. g3 was played, which allows queen e4 check. Forking the rook and king. King moves to f2. And although you can take the rook and you're probably still winning, you want to get your pieces working together, when, especially when you're completely winning. Bishop c5 check. Just going after the king. And, like, this is almost checkmate. There's only one move, I believe. Yeah, there's only one move, which is d4. Then check. Bishop e3. So now the king has to go to e2 or e1. Both line up with the queen. Bishop d4 check. King d2. Queen e3. Merry Christmas. Go see your family now.